Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, The Battle Over Citizen Kane from 1996. It's the second film in the 70th anniversary edition of Citizen Kane. It's directed by Michael Epstein and Thomas Lennon, and stars Thomas Anderson and Peter Bogdanovich. Even though it's called The Battle Over Citizen Kane, this documentary is less concerned with Orson Welles versus William Randolph Hearst and is more concerned with the very detailed backstory of both larger-than-life men. And it's just as well as it is a fascinating tale nonetheless. Sorry I'm just recycling the photos from my review on Citizen Kane. I had difficulty finding photos from this documentary and figured the photos from Citizen Kane would fit the bill. On one end, we are treated to a retelling of the life of William Randolph Hearst up until around 1940. This is fascinating, even though we already covered a lot of William Randolph Hearst's raising and upbringing in the actual film Citizen Kane, which is loosely based on his life. So, this recounting of William Randolph Hearst's legit life is more or less a how did I do when it comes to the film Citizen Kane. These sections of the battle over Citizen Kane are interspersed with a similar look at the first 24 years of Orson Welles, so up until 1941 when Citizen Kane was released. And even though the specifics between both men's lives are very different, the documentary challenges that the arc of each life is similar to the other. And this is true enough. I like this documentary especially because it demystifies a lot about Orson Welles' early life, which is some stuff I find super interesting, especially his work in theater and radio that led up to the making of Citizen Kane. As for our next film, I know I said that it would be an Orson Welles film titled The Magnificent Ambersons, as it is included in the collection. Well, funny that. It actually isn't. I'm not exactly sure where I got my wires crossed, but although there are some copies of the 70th anniversary of Citizen Kane edition that include the Magnificent Ambersons, there are copies of it that don't, and as it turns out, I own a copy that doesn't. So, instead of the Magnificent Ambersons tomorrow, I'll be watching and reviewing a film I bought a little while ago, but just haven't had the gumption to watch or review yet, mostly because of its extended length of just over three hours. However, tomorrow we'll finally be getting to it, so first I'll give The Battle Over Citizen Kane an A-, and then tomorrow I'll be reaching back to be reviewing Avatar The Way of Water. See y'all then.